Hey guys, I'm uh, hanging out here on an SRT rope uh, to show you uh, how I'm tying my basal anchor these days. Um, must be a million ways to tie a basal anchor, but um, I'm using this because this scheme uh, doubles everything up for safety. Everything is doubled either for strength or redundancy, and um, uh, no single failure is going to uh, bring me out of the uh, out of the tree. Even um, even the functions are doubled. The choking function and the descending function are uh, doubled for redundancy. And I'd like to show it to you, and then I'm going to demonstrate uh, what happens with a groundy uh, who gets a bee sting and uh, drops the line when he's lowering you. Um, the basic girthing line is. Um, 25 or 30 feet of uh, climbing or rigging line. I'm using half inch stable braid. It goes through a couple of large arborist rings, wraps around the tree, comes around here, goes back through the arborist rings, and um, you throw a quick slip knot uh, covered by a half hitch in as a stopper knot here. Uh, I used to do a scaffold hitch and it took me a day and a half. This is this is 10 seconds and you're done. Um, the the girthing line doubled like this in a basket configuration doubles its strength. Um, it's already a 10,000 pound line with stable braid. That's that turns it into a 20,000 pound line, uh, that puppy is not going to break. The, uh, the SRT rope lands in a figure eight. Um, I've got it snubbed off here instead of, lo uh, instead of locked off because uh, of the demonstration I'm going to run, but you basically land in a figure eight to a 3 8 inch uh, a rapid link to uh, a a loop of uh, 10 millimeter ocean poly. This is a sliding triple fisherman's that comes out of the quick link, goes through the uh, arborist rings, and winds up uh, grabbing the girthing line in an eight coil prussic. And then the secret sauce is above the above the uh, figure eight. There's a a Clem heist spun in here of um, a Samson ice tail. You can use anything you want, of course. Just make sure it has a good heat rating because this is going to see heat during an emergency uh, uh, descent. Um, and that uh, line comes down and lands on a small ring, which is only on one of the legs of uh, the uh, girthing line. And that's going to back up the choking action. Um, if we lose the choking action of the ocean poly line, this is going to apply, this is going to take up slack and apply tension so that this part of the girthing line stays fully choked and um, it doesn't have any tendency to slip down the bark. Um, so that's kind of the basic arrangement. I'm going to unsnub this thing and uh, then drop it and uh, show you what happens with my weight on it. Um, so here we are. My, my weight's on it. Let's see if we get it in frame. My weight's fully on it and uh, bzz, 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 sting, done. And uh, you see basically nothing happened. We now no longer have any weight uh, being carried by the ocean poly loop. The girthing line is being held by these stopper knots and the choking action is being held by my weight coming down the ice tail line and creating that little triangle. I'll put my weight back on it and you can see that it has absolutely no tendency to want to wiggle up the tree. It's still being girthed and is still capable of holding my weight safety, safely. The other thing here, of course, is that when somebody does want to lower you on purpose, it takes two positive actions working together. The, the release through the figure eight 
and the release through the ice tail prussic and uh, the two together can lower you safely to the ground. Um, if somebody mishandles the figure eight, uh, you're still not coming out of the tree. Uh, I like it. I know there must be a million ways to do it, but um, this is simple and um, most people can just build this out of stuff uh, in their spares box. Um, thanks for watching.